hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day so far in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you some diy lip balm ideas my previous lip balm video did really well and a lot of you guys really seem to enjoy it so i thought i would do another one by the time this video is up i'm pretty sure there will be a new video over on my second channel and it is going to be a slime related video so if you want to watch that i'll have a link for it down below as soon as it goes up i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do enjoy it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you are new to my channel then be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future videos without further ado let's get right into the video the first thing that you will need are containers. I'm using a metal container, but you can also use a plastic one. In my previous lip balm video, I did use a plastic container. So you can watch that video to kind of get an idea on how to use a plastic one. The next thing that you will need is polymer clay. You can also use air dry clay. Of course, if you use air dry clay, you don't need to bake it in the oven. So what I did is I placed two popsicle sticks and now I'm going to roll out some beige polymer clay. Putting two popsicle sticks on the side will really help you make sure to get an even thickness of the clay. So now I'm taking the lid of the container and I'm just going to cover it all up. Then I'm going in with my X-Acto knife and I'm going to trim off any extra clay. I totally forgot to mention this, but if you aren't able to tell yet, I'm making the cookie lip balm first. I think in most of my videos, I always make something food related because I love food. So two of the lip balms are food themed. I'm taking the bottom part of the container and I'm going to cover that up as well. But this time you don't want to cover up the part where the container kind of screws together. Again, I'm taking my X-Acto knife and I'm cutting off the extra clay like so. So now I'm just going to check that I'm able to close the container or not and it does close absolutely fine. To make the cookie look realistic, I took a texturizing tool and I'm going to give it a lot of texture. You can also use a regular old toothbrush. Just make sure that you don't end up using the toothbrush after you use it for clay. I took two balls of black polymer clay and I'm going to add on the eyes. I rolled out a really thin snake of clay and I made that into kind of like a U-like shape for the smile. Using some brown, I'm adding on the chocolate chips and these don't have to be perfect at all. They can be big, small totally random shapes, it doesn't really matter. Using some brown chalk pastel, I'm going to shade the cookie and this is going to give it that baked look. Now you want to let that bake in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going in with some acrylic paint and I'm adding on the final details. So I added the little dots inside the eyes and I also added the blush. Now for the pizza lip balm, what I did is I covered up the top with a really pale yellow and then I covered up the sides with some beige. To make the crust a bit more prominent, I'm rolling out a snake of clay and I'm going to wrap that around like so. I'm adding on the pepperonis with some red polymer clay and again these don't have to be perfect at all. You can make them big, small or you can even do different toppings. You can let that bake in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Using some acrylic paint, I'm adding on a cute face. I think I also forgot to mention this, but the clay that I'm using is Sculpey 3. If you have been watching my videos for I think a year now, you'll know that I always use Sculpey 3 in all of my tutorials. I'm glazing the pepperonis with some Fimo gloss varnish. I also glazed the chocolate chips for the cookie one. I just didn't include it in the video because it was getting really long. I don't have a name for this container, but it's just a super adorable face container. So I already covered the entire container with clay. Now I'm adding on the eyes and I'm also going to give it some really pretty lashes. Then you want to let this bake in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. As per usual, I'm adding on the details with some acrylic paint. I think this is the easiest out of all five of them for sure. 
I'm glazing the entire thing and then what I'm going to do is apply a little bit of super glue and I'm going to add a bow to it. This bow is actually meant to put on your nails but I chose to put it on a container. The next one that I'm showing you is the panda. So I took a ball of black polymer clay and I'm going to cut it in half. I'm flattening it down with my fingers and I'm making sure that it is kind of like a half circle like shape. Popping it onto the container that I already covered with some white polymer clay. Let this bake in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm adding on the panda face with some acrylic paint. You can also do this with black polymer clay as well. I just wanted to paint it on because I thought it'd be easier that way. But you can also use clay if you would like. The final design is the emoji, so I already covered up the entire container with some yellow. Then I just baked it in the oven and now I'm just painting on the face. You can do this with polymer clay or acrylic paint, clearly I chose acrylic paint. And I'm just painting a kissing emoji on. For the actual lip balm, I took a bowl and I'm adding in 2 tablespoons of beeswax. Then I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of sweet almond oil, but you can also use coconut oil, olive oil, whatever you prefer. Basically you want to add equal parts of each. Melt this in the microwave or on a double boiler. This is optional, but you can add different essential oils inside. I'm adding in a few drops of peppermint essential oil. This is also completely optional, but if you want to give it a bit of a color, you can add a little bit of lipstick inside. I'm pouring in the lip balm mixture in each container. For the cookie one, I did not add any lipstick at all. Then for the pizza, I did red. For the cute face one, I did pink. For the emoji, I did red again. And then for the panda, I did pink. It will take 5 to 10 minutes for the lip balms to completely harden and set. And that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know in a comment which lip balm design was your favorite. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next one.